Welcome back everybody to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, thank you so much for the support lately, it's been absolutely great. If you can continue to subscribe and thumbs up, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Let's get into it. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... I insist. Insist all you like ain't happening. Headphones aren't wrong way around. Die. Are you coming with us to collect your husband? I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why ain't the crime sort, but... I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you both. Mm. All right. Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Yep. Seems simple enough. Never is when they say that, is it? How long's a piece of string? Okay, bring us over. We good? Let's go. Okay. Stay low. Yes, darling. Okie dokie. Stay on my ass, woman. Shit's about to get real fun. Good night. Sleepy sleepy. We've got in terms of weapons. Okay, let's pick this up. Come on, Sadie. Yeah, that. Made me have a weapon. Give me that back. Shit. I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Yep. Come on. I think one of those guards was still moving. God, she's crazy. Funny as fuck, though. Love Sadie. Should be great to have in an apocalypse. See you later, guys. <laughs> okay, I'll just fall on floor I'm there. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Why is my gun so rusty? Where's John Marston? She ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well I guess we'll go and get him together. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Come on, Sadie, take him out. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, Paul. <clears throat> why Good lass. Apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her. Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. 
Goodbye. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. You said anything about letting us do it. Whether you let us or not, we're doing it. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Yep. People like you? No, Other than not. Up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this pool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Sounds good to me. She's crazy. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now. For not help. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denise. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four, Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, uh, faster. 14, 15. Now hurry up! Or well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out! And over what? For nothing! Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting, I can't hear you! Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards! Come on! Don't cry, buddy! No way, self. I know, I know. Hey, hey, John, blow you too? No funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go. Run. What are you doing, Arthur? Run. He won't let me run. There we go. Now give me a gun. You go to hell. Oh. Stupid metal bars in the way, man. There he goes. No. Still no. Thank you. Who's shooting at me? Ooh, right in, right in lungs. Run. Run, little Alpha, run. Yes, ma'am. Remedy. Oh, oh, oh. Straight pelvis. Take a seat, pal. Yep, let's move. How'd that miss? 
There you go. There you go. Motherfucker! No shit, I'm getting shot by him. I don't think I have much choice. Or I'm gonna die. Yes, ma'am. Right now, I'm gonna need a remedy because I ain't dying. I pressed the wrong button. Run, Alpha. Run, 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 run. Glad I set that. I needed it. Not really. Are you? I'm trying to shoot people. I'm getting shot in the ass right now. Let's go. You always seem to need rescue at first. That's here he does. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll roll. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. Right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> I mean, thanks. I'll try. Yeah, we will. Come on. Nope. Come on. There he goes. Anyone else? Yeah, you. Ooh. Ooh. Put that one like a chump. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Yep, listen to the woman. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Let's crack on. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. Tell me about All it. Them years, Arthur, he was like, like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. Nah. Uh, Lenny. What a goddamn mess. Lenny was my boy. And did we? What about the the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. Yep. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah, seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead too. Jesus, maybe you should have just left me to hang. <laughs> yeah, Probably would have been a good idea. I should warn you. Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. He said it wasn't the right time, so. Fuck Might that. Not be the hero's welcome, you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. Exactly. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. 
Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we He's definitely changed. Who's his favorite no more? Huh. Yes, not. I think that's very strange Dutch would just leave him like that. See you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And when Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty. Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. We're already on the run. What difference does it make? There's that wolf again. Thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Thank you indeed. Right, then. Where are we going now? Micah. This dick. All right. <laughs> Go kick Micah in the ass. Hell of a time, Arthur. Yeah, there is. Arthur. Well, I've got TV, but you know, I do what I can. Okay, my girl. Come on, Jimothy. Let's ride. Yeehaw! Oh, 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 I was going to cut there, but a letter has arrived in camp. There's something about Mary. Sure is. Dutch is crazy. Same shit, different day. Once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape. Yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. 
Well. I shall help you. Just not yet. Let's see what Micah wants. Yeehaw! See you later, fat man. As Micah says. Not my words, they're his. Another bug. Wanted dead or alive. Like fun. Go find out what Michael wants. Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't uh. You don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. And not inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us is past. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, no one won't. Them Pinkertons, they've got us pinned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> hmm. What do you think? Definitely for revenge. So, what are we going to say to him that needs to be said? He has been haunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs and you can't write. Dutch. That is oil in the water. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. So you're gonna strike up a deal, then rob him again, and then leave. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Okay, but I got a bad feeling. Malvina. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderland robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. 
I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. Wrong answer. I prefer it this way. You've lost your land. No noise, Arthur. No noise. Well, shit. I'm fucking crazy. Can't believe I missed. Come on, half a move. Jesus. Else he has. Literally fucking oil in every every watering place here. Shooting from every building, Dutch. why I think Mike is... I'm coming, Jesus! I don't know why I think Mike is a bad guy. Just kind of a snake. Looks like we've got no choice, do we? Chilling. Hello, I am. Y'all are one behind.
Who else is shooting at me? Ooh, yeah. How do you shoot his hat off and not kill him? Riding a horse bareback, Jesus. I guess you don't like your nuts. Let's head for the hills, boys. Let's do it. Him. Didn't kill him though. Of course they're gonna be coming. Just killed the boss. Superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Black Lung. Looks like they're uh, planning to kill Arthur. That's what I got from that. Hey, it's Jimmy Fee. Hello, girl. <laughs> 